Welcome back at 743. It is Mayor Monday and this morning we wanted to check in with Beaverton Mayor Denny Doyle. He's joining us live via FaceTime. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning. How are you doing? I I'm great. How are you doing? I'm all right. Yeah. Well, the last time we saw you, it was in person. It was when we first started AM Extra right. and uh, we were chatting about how great everything was going in Beaverton. Well, now, of course, we're going through everything uh, that the world is going through right now with this pandemic. So wanted to get an update on the COVID-19 response in Beaverton and, and how things are going. OK, well, uh, back on a long time ago, well, March 13th, we declared a state of emergency. I signed the order. We closed all public buildings through, uh, we, were hope, we were closed on March 18th, rather, the rest of the city in terms of the public buildings. And last week we decided to extend that closure to May 25th at least. We're trying to follow the governor's lead if that, if her timetable changes, we'll change with her. But we've never stopped, you know, uh, supplying the central services of police. Uh, garbage is, is going out by our, our private haulers, billing permits, building inspections. We are keeping up with everybody who's out there working. So that that's really been a plus. Everybody's learned how to work from home, phones work, and uh, our library has gone, you know, completely virtual. They do a performance in the afternoon, story times, multiple languages. So we're really trying to stay open for business. Yeah, and, and what else does that state of emergency mean as far as uh, residents in Beaverton? How does it impact them? Well, we're, we're hoping that uh, they will not, you know, they'll stay home. And if they need the city, just pick up the phone or, or go on the internet. And reach out to us. We've been responsive to everybody. We're not getting very many complaints. <clears throat> so to me, it's been really a change in how we all live. But we also uh, put a residential eviction moratorium in place, and we launched a housing hotline in multiple languages for residents to call and check on us and check on things that they need. Our websites can be kept up to date. A great team is doing that, and our severe weather shelter across from the library is now open through the end of May and extended hours so we're housing people properly spaced with basically volunteers helping them. We also put a small business emergency program into place, $250,000 of loans to help people pay their rent so the landlords can pay their mortgages. And we're gonna be adding to that sometime this week, I believe we'll, we'll be getting money out of our contingency fund to actually add more to this program and expand it to help other people pay their rent. We've also started promoting a takeout Thursday for our restaurants so you can order online and have it delivered. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, between you and me, if we, we can get some money out of the CARES Act that the state and others are administering, that would be really good. That would help all the cities. And uh, we're really trying to help the traditionally marginalized and really vulnerable people. So I'm really tickled with what we've been able to do so far, and all the cities are responding nicely. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned, uh, you touched on this a little bit, but you know, this this came at a time when the, the restaurant scene in Beaverton was just kind of exploding. Um, right. And, and I'm sure there is concern about a lot of those businesses staying afloat during all of this. And, and you have really driven home that, that takeout night once a week for the residents in Beaverton yeah. to, to try and encourage that if people can. Yeah, well, you know, we're worried about the restaurants. Some had just opened their doors. Mm -hmm. And those are the folks who were, were letting apply for loans. And a lot of the landlords are saying, okay, we're gonna help you for a month or two. And that's really a blessing. Not all landlords can, but some who can are doing that. And that's, we just want everybody to survive. Even if we have to keep this distance up, you know, through the summer, we can make it work. Some restaurants had already started moving their tables around and chairs around to put that space in place. So we'll, we'll hope that we can all continue to follow what the governor's asked us to do and let this thing subside and then we can get back to business slowly but surely. I'm looking forward to reopening things. Yeah, I know everyone is. And you know, I live in Beaverton and, and I have yep. I live near the, the Powerline uh, Park Trail. I've noticed uh -huh. there are a lot of people out walking, but at least in, in my view, it seems like people are taking this seriously and, and keeping that oh, yeah. distance. Is that what you've noticed too? Yes, Yeah. Um, we're across from about a 20 acre park and uh, people are spacing out there, but people are walking and then as they come across each other on the sidewalk, one steps out, yep. way out of the way. So people are, are adhering to it, but we're getting complaints now from other groups that are not. And we've just asked people to call the non-emergency number, report it, they'll get to our police if it's in Beaverton. Police will go out and discuss the situation with people. So folks, if you're listening, keep your friends, keep your distance. All right, Mayor Denny Doyle, always a pleasure talking to, a, to you and uh, stay safe. Thank you, you too. All right, have a good morning. Bye-bye.